Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This is tutorial number 8. Configure DHCP server. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Micro Cloud has the ability to become DHCP server and hand out IP address to its LAN user. We usually assign IP address to PC's LAN interface statically, but in few situations you want to hand out IP address automatically to your LAN user. Situation like your sales team or engineering team comes to your main office along with their laptop and you want them to connect with your office LAN. Assigning IP individually to their laptop can be a difficult task. Best solution is to provide random IP to their laptop. And you can do it by having DHCP server running on your router. In restaurant or in hotel lobby, you want your guest user to connect with your wireless access point and get them IP address automatically. You can do it by having your router to list IP address automatically with the help of DHCP. So in many situations, you need to configure your router as DHCP server. So by now, you understand why you need DHCP server running on your router. But it depends on you how you want your LAN user to connect. But today's topic is DHCP server and we will see how to configure it on Microtech router. DHCP protocol comprises two parts. These two parts are a server which listens for requests by DHCP clients, response with IP address, DNS server and a default gateway. And client that makes the DHCP request. Let's go to our microdic router. Now let me show you how to configure DHCP server on microdic router. From the left panel menu, click IP, then DHCP server. DHCP server setup is not complicated, but you have to add few functions to set it up. Microdic router has this wonderful wizard to make this setup so easy, click on DHCP setup button and the wizard will appear. You can see the wizard is already appear on our microdic router. But before the setup, you must decide which interface you want your DHCP server to list IP address to your user. And you must assign an IP address such as 192.168.1.1/24 to the desired interface where you want your DCP server to operate. Let me show you my IP address. You can see. In my case, I have assigned IP address on bridge interface. Because I have wired and wireless connection and I want to make it as a single network. How to create bridge interface? We have showed it in our previous tutorial. If you didn't see it, let's check. Okay, this is our IP address 192.168.1.1/24, and we will hand out DHCP server on this interface. One important note is that you can add a DHCP server to a bridge interface, but not to the interface that is a part of the bridge group. In my bridge interface. I have Ether4 and WLAN1 and I cannot run DCP server on just WLAN1 port or just on Ether4 port. Let's run through this wizard so that you understand what you need to add for this setup. The first selection is the interface on which you want DCP to operate. From here we select our LAN, which is our bridge interface. This is the first important step and later configuration is very easy. Now click next. From this point to till the end of the configuration wizard, you can typically accept the defaults or make adjustments if required. In this point, wizard asks to select network address. For your DCP addresses, and it shows the network 192.168.1.0/24. .1 .1 24. 
you have added on the interface for DHCP server to operate. This network 192.168.1.1. You can check your network is 192.168.1.0. So we will keep it as default and click next. Now the default gateway. This is typically the IP address you added on your LAN interface previously. 192.168.1.1. This is actually your LAN interface IP. And it will be the gateway of all the PC or laptop of your LAN. Let's click next. Next is the pool of addresses that will be given out by DCP server to your LAN user. If you want to exclude certain IP, you can see 192.168.1.2 IPEN 192.168.1.254 from 2 to 254 IP. If you want to exclude certain regions of addresses from DCP pool, now is your opportunity. I always exclude few IP from DCP pool because I want them to reserve for local server and I assign IP for those servers statically. So I will start my pool from 11 from 11 to 254 now is the DNS server this is the IP address of the DNS server you want to give to your clients they will get the DNS server IP automatically you know why DNS we use we use this DNS server to resolve our name to IP address or convert the name to IP address because we don't remember the IP address. You can make adjustment here but remember you must give clients at least one DNS server or the setup script will fail. If you want your clients to use your caching DNS server like we have selected in here, if you check on this one it will work as caching DNS uh, from my provider I got this DNS IP and this is public DNS Google public DNS if you want your clients to use your caching DNS server then use the IP of your local interface I mean 192.161.1 in my case the router will then either answer from the cache or go to the DNS server to resolve the address click next next is the least time keep it as it is and then click next and your setup has completed successfully okay one bonus tip for you if you want to make one of your PC to get same IP you can do it by make it static let me show you from IP select the SCP server and from the least tab you can see we have handed over one IP to our PC and then just double click on it and click make a static that's it hope you learned how to configure DSCP server on microtech thanks for watching